Welcome everybody, I am Angry Annie, and this is The Way We All Go. Uh, it's a uh, dating-like sim. Um, all I know is the synopsis, uh, this kid was forced to move away from his hometown, and now he's back for, I think, three days or something like that, or 24 hours, or so I, I don't know, but he's got to, like, reconnect with everybody, and I really think you should tell her, you know? I know, but are you scared? Um. Whoa! A train car! Okay. I can park a train. How did I get here? My head is leaning back against my seat, a strand of drool dripping from the corner of my mouth. Thanks for that detail. That's really helpful. Achan! Huh? Let's see, I put it the back of my hand. Drooling? Am I? Well, I drool in my sleep. And I'm, uh, 43 years old, so... <laughs> it's all a matter of perspective. No, 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 that's, uh, nocturnal emissions you're thinking of, at chan <laughs> Yeah, good luck trying to stop that drooling reflex. That kind of sticks with you. Ah, uh, so... Oh. All right, coming of age, quest for maturity, yeah. Okay, we've, we've got another coconut on our hands. Go back and watch the uh, Nekopara playthrough. I'm not going to get... I'm not going to go to far off lands and slay dragons or pull swords for stones or anything. Well, not in this day and age. I doubt if I could do that even if I tried. Well, not unless you were the chosen king of England. You're not going to get that sword out of the stone. I'm just going to visit my grandparents and live all the way out in the countryside. That's all. Nothing more, still. I think it'll be nice going back home. Only been away for two years, but it almost feels like a whole lifetime. I wonder if anything will be different. Two years might seem like a short amount of time, minuscule when you consider how old the Earth is, but a lot of things can change over a period of only a few days, let alone years. I hope Amu's a Who the hell is Amu? Oh, I guess we'll find out. The photo isn't the same as seeing a person in real life. And I wonder. Ellipsis. Oh. Oh, is that me? Ow. Yeah, you're gonna break. You're gonna crack your teeth doing that. Fields dyed dark blue under the evening sky. Well, they look green to me. No, you are definitely not in the city anymore. Although, if cities looked like this, I'd be a lot more fond of cities. <laughs> Saki, Miho, and Yuna. What are they doing right now? Saki with her love of horror stories. Miho, who always scores the highest in karaoke. Wait, they have karaoke scoring in Japan? That's... That's something I'm going to have to look into. Yuna, who wears red ribbons in her hair and keeps falling asleep in class. And drooling, I'll bet. These idle thoughts soon fade away. I'm going back up. No, your home is uh, in the city now. Hey, I'll see her. She was always so quiet, never talking to anyone other than me. Will she be any different now? I hope she's at least made a few new friends. If she hasn't, then would it be my fault? Uh, don't worry, she's probably dead. Yeah, don't worry about it. Whoever she is, she's... Probably well, either dead or moved on to somebody else. Stupid! Yeah, chastise yourself, Hachan. Don't ruin your trip before it even begins. But if you did ruin your trip before it even begins, then that would make for a really short story, wouldn't it? <laughs> Maybe I deserve to feel bad. Wow. Okay, yeah, we've, we've definitely got a, uh, another coconut here. Why didn't I tell her? Because you were scared. Oh, great, now she's having a, having conversations with herself. Nobody can hear me. Oh, are you all alone in this? You're the only person on the train. That's... Wow. Okay. So, oh, hey. Old people. Darling! Welcome back! I imagine she has a, uh... Oh, it's... It's good to see you again, lad. Oh, so... 
Wait, so... So my character's male? <laughs> okay. You want a hand with your luggage? <clears throat> I stand outside the small dilapidated train station, gripping my single suitcase tight in my hand. You're gonna get a cramp doing that. Is someone gonna be here for three days? I didn't bother to pack much. I can make do with only a few pairs of underwear and my pajamas. I don't need anything else. Oh, so you're just going around in, pa in uh, pajamas or underwear and nothing else. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting story. Ugh. Oh, is that what happened? Your grandparents came to the station. Okay. Never could have told that from the visual. Uh, oh, so we're going to wait five minutes away from the station? Five minute walk? Um, well, interesting. Thick glasses, which, uh... Oh, that, well, that explains why he doesn't have them on him, because he keeps losing them. What about you, Grandma? You got some stylish specs there. And yet he's still out to drive a car. <laughs> that reminds me of my great-grandmother. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, she was like... Oh, how old was she when they, they took away her license? Ah, I can't even remember. That was so long ago. It's very rural area, so there aren't that many cars around to hit. Well, I'd imagine there's a few pedestrians and cows and other... You don't need to carry anything, Grandpa. I'm good. Yeah, show that muscle lot, Chun. Flex those girly arms and... girly eyes and girly hair. What the heck? How? how my... Ugh. All right, this is already a confusing story. Nonsense! He made all the effort to come out here, and on that blasted train, too. He must be exhausted from all the witchcraft and sorcery that causes those things to move. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, you're not a child, but you still drool in your sleep. Ugh. <laughs> as, as stated, that's, that's not a thing. I don't know if you've forgotten how old I am. I don't know how old you are. Nobody knows. Hmm? What's this? You still look like a youngster to me. Sixteen... Bullshit. That was not the face of a 16-year-old boy. That was the face of a 14-year-old uh, girl. And I'm older than 60. The gulf between us is as wide as the Kita Kitakami River. <laughs> I made his grandpa <laughs> Deckard Kane. Oh, I'm older than 60. The gulf between us is as wide as the gulf between this world and the realms of hell. <laughs> My grandmother giggles. Come now, dear, don't be silly. You're getting old and your eyes aren't what they used to be. So, <coughs> oh, okay, so the reflection I saw in the, in the window was actually the <laughs> the view that Grandpa has of his 16-year-old uh, grandson, quote-unquote. Nonsense. My eyes are just fine, Chio. And yet you keep wearing that ugly shirt. Yeah, well, no wonder he's going blind. <laughs> this shirt isn't ugly. It was given to me by one of the lords of hell. It's very cutting edge, I'll have you know. All the youngsters are wearing them. <laughs> well, not anymore, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's to his detriment. It enhances a man's natural charm and shows off his true character. It shows he's starting to get senile, perhaps. <laughs> I'm not senile. I've just seen some... Shit, Chio. You can be a very cruel mistress. Foo, foo, foo. Uh, thanks for directly translating that instead of, uh, ha, 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 or... Don't bully Achan too much, you old boar. I'm just saying it like I see it, Chio. To me, he'll always be a brat. To me, he'll always be a 13-year-old girl. <laughs> Handsome or pretty? 
Come on, Grandma. Get, get, oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so that chat is even even recognizes the fact that he's a little bit feminine. Or, oh, or maybe he was seeing her face, quote-unquote. You know what they say. Good things. I think she'd have more of a Catherine Hepburn voice. Well, you know what they say. Good things come in small packages. Wow, no, that's that's just uh, Deckard Cain pitched up with a slight quaver. <laughs> oh, <coughs> I have just failed as a voice actor. Oh, well. Well, you know what they say. Good things come in small packages. The way I see it, you're just being... Oh, yeah, speaking of small, non-existent packages... <laughs> Lack of height? Wasn't a conscious decision I made. Oh, so you just let it happen, Achan. Good job. If anything, I'd like to be a couple of inches taller. Just a couple? That way I wouldn't get teased so much. Being the shortest bo boy, quote-unquote, in your class can be pretty depressing. So not only are you the shortest boy in your class, you also... <laughs> wear your hair in a in a pixie bob and uh oh my god this is this is gonna be a weird story this is already weird nobody likes being picked last when teams are being formed in pe and nobody likes being laughed at well <laughs> i don't know about that i uh go, go back and have a look at my youtube channel <laughs> and you'll find somebody who's has absolutely no problem being laughed at. <laughs> I'm not really modest, you know. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm a pompous asshole. Actually, I think you are. You're just proving my point, dear. Well, <laughs> okay, that's better. Irie? Irie, okay. Irene? Interesting. Okay. Little being the operative word, yeah. Good things come in small packages. He must get it from your side of the family, Chio. You've always been tiny, haven't you? Yeah, she looks positively diminutive. So if she's tiny, what does that say about you, Grandpa? A weak constitution? I don't know about that. Even though he's two years older now, he's still a runt. Wow, you're being really supportive, Grandpa. Thanks. <laughs> it's for your own good. <laughs> wow. Oh, and Achan moved away from all of this? Wow, what's wrong with him, quote-unquote? <laughs> He just wants to show off, show off how much of a, a dick he is? Let him carry your case. You have anything to boast about with the neighbor? Yeah, my I carried my wimpy grandson's suitcase. That that's really sounds like a, a valid boasting point. Oh my goodness. That's how it is. Uh, oh, oh no. Is Achan also having a stroke and... Is in a weird, whacked out uh, fever dream thing, like in the last one of these that I played. I I'm told that there's 21 possible endings, endings to this game, yet uh, I seem to be on a pretty considerable rail at the moment. Well, it's just the beginning of the game. I should give it a I see you talk some sense into him, Chio. He'll make a fine adventurer someday. Feminine ch Yeah, oh, no! No! No, she did not use her feminine charms at all. Not on her grandson. Ugh. Is this like uh, 50 years in the future and Chio is actually Shigure? That would be... Just, uh, oh, she's 80. Oh, my God. Okay, so so we're talking uh, 70 years in the future. You still have what in you? Homegrown vegetables. Yeah, except, oh, yeah, all those homegrown vegetables that support your weak constitution. 
Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> those, <laughs> those, the, where they sell the devil's lettuce at the so-called supermarkets. <laughs> no tomato, no tomatoes taste as good as yours, Chio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't do a Deckard Kane laugh. Sounding so carefree. I feel something lift from the pit of my stomach. <laughs> yeah, it's called your gorge. <laughs> Could it be anxiety? Nope. That's called nausea, Achan. Started to get worried during my journey here, but maybe those fears were unfounded. Maybe I just need a, a good purge to support my weak constitution. And, uh... Uh, the, the good thing is that the ground isn't that far away, so there won't be much of a splash when it hits. <laughs> I guess I really do belong here. That's where I was born, after all. Well, well, why did you move away in the first place? Oh, hey. How was the journey here, darling? A short, actually. <laughs> really short. <laughs> little, took a while, so it was a little tiring, but other than that, yeah, Five-minute walk from the train station really tires you out. I guess sleeping on the train and drooling on yourself. Drooling takes a lot of energy, a surprising amount of energy, and, uh, yeah, I can see how that would really take it out of you, Achan. A six-hour six six journey is tiring. Six-hour journey on a train. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. More like seven. Oh, so you had a one-hour layover? Seven hours. Must have been dreadful. Need to eat more. Oh, she, oh so Grandma's Italian. <laughs> or Pennsylvania Dutch. That is not just an Italian thing. The Pennsylvania Dutch... Oh, you have not you have not lived until you've had a Pennsylvania Dutch meal. You want to talk about calories? Ha 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 ha! You will sleep for three days. Even though my mother's my grand, even though grandmother said all the stuff about me being grown up and handsome, did she really believe it? Uh, okay, these two thoughts don't really connect at all. Being suspicious of what's on your dinner plate, and. Uh, your grandmother's opinion of your your uh, looks and maturity. How do these two thoughts connect? Uh, somebody leave a comment and let me know exactly how this how that's supposed to. If she did, why did she make me so much food? Well, because she's Pennsylvania Dutch, living in Japan. Like trying to feed up a starving kitten. Uh, okay. Weren't that many? There weren't many people. There were no people on the train. Oh, for the last two stations, I was okay. Wow, so you live way, way out in the boonies. And more and more people have been leaving. Yeah, that's happening here in America too, with kids leaving all the the farmlands and whatnot, going off and getting MBAs, and then moving back to the farm and. Doing farm work with MBAs. There aren't enough jobs to go around. Means there's no reason to stay. Now most of what's left here is just us old people. To do all the farming. It's sad, really. I don't think I should ever like to leave. It's just so peaceful. Yeah, it's peaceful and the green beans are the best you can find. So yeah, those, those thoughts really connect. Uh, give me a second here. I just uh, just lost structural integrity on my glasses. And come on, get in there, you. Oops, don't want to bend this. There we go, and... Oh, and I think my mother is still trying to message me. There we go, glass is fixed. And... Dink, and... Yeah. Yep, 
Yeah, let me just reply to this real quick. The green beans are growing these parts are the best that you can find. Ho ho. I even hear they're going to discontinue the train line here. That that would be bad. And the current track is getting old. Yeah. Well. That's just good economic sense. Although, how are you gonna get all those green beans to the city? I mean you gotta grow your food somewhere and all those vertical farms in Tokyo aren't gonna do much good. Oh, I shouldn't have mentioned vertical farms. We were supposed to get one here in Hazleton, and, uh... Well, that fell through. Thanks to, uh... Oh, never mind, I'm not gonna get political here. It really is sad. No, don't pick at it. Eat it! The reason you're so short is because you didn't eat your vegetables. Even though I don't live here anymore, hearing that this village is starting to decline is just a little depressing. Every single precious moment of my youth, all the bullying and name-calling and getting picked last for P.E. Yeah, why would you want to leave all that behind you, huh, chan You dope. Going out for walks in the forest, catching cicadas in the summer with a net. And an empty mayonnaise jar. No, I, I never caught cicadas. Cicadas were, uh... Cicadas are vicious little fuckers. Let me tell you something. And, the, and once you catch them, they're not very exciting. Lightning bugs are so much better. My extravagant and slightly unrealistic plans to build a treehouse with Amu, which never managed to become a reality. And, of course, there was her. My best friend, Noel. Oh, her has a name. Hey, a telephone. So, wait, Saki? It's been too long. Okay. Saki speaking through the hung-up telephone. Awesome. <coughs> hey, and I got one new item in my inventory. Awesome. More of an antique than a fully functional means of communication. Yeah, it's uh, it's got pulse dialing. Interesting. <coughs> <coughs> well, the, the old phones don't distort all that much. I used to have a cat named Saki. She died young. She had some medical problems. Technically, like she hasn't seen me in years. Uh, well, she hasn't seen you in years. A couple of days? Oh, this is Saki from... Okay, yeah, from... From the city... Uh, wait, uh, oh, yeah, I, I'm just thinking all of his friends are girls, so, okay, he's transgender, that makes a whole lot of sense now. Oh, or maybe he's like, uh, Shun from, here is, from, uh, Kokola Greenwood. How can you be bored? You have all those brothers and sisters to look after, don't you? Wow. Okay, so Saki comes from a big family. Let's cut them all off to bed. Oh, oldest of... Wow. <laughs> oh, they're off on a romantic holiday. Making another kid. Great. Because that's what the oldest does, Saki. You wouldn't have wanted to go on a holiday with them either, would you? <laughs> Not on a romantic ho Oh, God, unless... Unless Saki's last uh, family name is Minaduki. 
And then, uh... <laughs> okay, so, all right, Saki does not want to. She would rather die than go on a romantic weekend with her parents. Good. Good. Okinawa? Who wants to go to Okinawa? Okinawa's a nice place. Or so I've heard. Never actually been there myself. Went there on a school trip a few years ago, and it's a complete tourist trap. Well, the parts that aren't military base or nature preserve, yeah, I guess. Also bright and noisy, not to mention the weather. Oh, no. Not the weather. Oh, that's right, because it's so far south. Sunscreen. Inches. Inches of sunscreen. Wow. <laughs> then I don't know why you're so unhappy. If you don't want to go with them in the first place, then there's no problem, right? Well, yeah, except being left behind to take care of her 16 brothers and sisters. It's the principle of the thing, that's all. I'm hurt. They didn't even invite me. Well, it was a romantic weekend. Why are they going to invite their oldest child along for that? Sort of like an invitation. Oh, God, no. No! Wait, what holiday? What is going on? Not Miho and Yuna. Hmm. So is it like summer vacation or something? This is so pathetic. Yes, it is. Uh, I, I am listening in on small talk. Oh my god. Taking care of your siblings is a noble job. Are, are we like character building for a character who's not even going to be in this story? Oh my god, unless she, like, abandons all her, like, her 24 much younger sisters and brothers and comes out to the country to hang out with Achan. Redo his makeup and nails and... <sighs> Heidi? <sighs> Is Heidi popular in Japan? I kind of liked Heidi. Unless there's a... Japanese version of... You know what? I'm kind of stupidly curious now. <sighs> Heidi, Girl of the Alps. Heidi in Japan. Uh, oh, hey, and this is in German. The fictional character Heidi learned in Japan an intense adaptation and transformation. Okay, alright. So, the literary figure Heidi, er, for in Japan, eine intensive, intensive adaptation and transformation. Uh, ah, oh, never mind. I thought there was a joke in there, but I'm just being stupid. I had the whole series on VHS, and I used to rewatch it regularly, even up until my early teens, when I was feeling bad. Um, okay. <laughs> Oh, are you serious? Mother threw out all the old VHS tapes. Yeah, and those are probably worth a shitload of money now. Ah, uh, boy. Most of your siblings are five. Oh, my God. Most of them? So out of, out of 38 kids, a majority of those are five. So Saki has Octomom? Wake those monsters up again. Wow, Saki feels about her brothers and sisters the way I feel about my cats. Monsters. And the way that I feel about the Minuduki cat girls. Alright, I'm gonna stop referencing Nekobara. <laughs> you haven't known true torture until you've had the task of putting four young children to bed. Oh, it's only four. Okay, so three, and then three of those are five? Alright. I know better than to berate... Berate her for what? Oh my god. Saki's siblings are something else altogether. Monsters, huh? <laughs> like gremlins. <laughs> and they're so loud. So, well, 
that's kids, you know? Mm. Yeah. And slipping into their big sister's bed. It's exhausting. <laughs> okay, now it would be better after all. Well, you're gonna ruin that alabaster skin. Okinawa! What a joke. <laughs> Viewers from Okinawa, please chime in and uh, set Saki straight on uh, what a great place Okinawa is. Uh, or maybe confirm how crappy it is. I, I don't know. I've never been to Okinawa. Classy like France or Italy? <coughs> I don't know. If it absolutely has to be Japan, then Ginza would be definitely... Would definitely be the best choice. Um, I don't know about that. Then again, never been to Ginza either. No sense of style. A sigh. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're having a good time at least. I'm not entirely sure yet. I only just got here. Your train journey was that long? That's like sitting in Tokyo traffic! My goodness, seven hours! <laughs> you know what? I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm not exactly going to skip through this conversation, but I'm going to kind of do a quick, quick route. Uh, th I don't even know what you call it. I'm just kind of gotta go quickly through this here. I hope you had a good time on your trip. Honestly, I'm not just saying that. Yeah. I know. I hope you get along well with your friends, your old friends, and, um, I shuffle around trying to get comfortable. My bare feet, toes twitching are starting to feel strange, slightly heavy. Have they gone numb from sitting close like I'm on the wooden floor so long? Blah! Breathe, Annie! Breathe! <sighs> Overwhelmed by what? He's out in the country. Or she! I'm not gonna be- I'm not gonna judge here. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is small talk. I don't even know why this is in here. Three days of endless Heidi reruns and pillow fights and takeout pizza. Mmm. Pizza. Yep, grin and bear it. I love that comic strip. I haven't seen it in ages, though. Pale skin, dark eyed, eternal queen of the night. Oh, so everybody who works on night shift with me. One more thing. Make sure you bring me back a souvenir. Oh, sure. Bring you back a dead cicada. <laughs> Stab myself in the eye with a wax crayon. Yeah, that, that would be incredibly painful. That's what's called blunt force trauma. Where is that pizza? I have my futons throwing up at the living room ceiling, listening to the radio tuned to a not station, and trying to hear the voice of God in the static. Okay. I need to stay here overnight when my parents are busy. <coughs> Stolen tangerine. Mmm, yeah. Stolen tangerine is the best tangerine. Mmm-hmm. And you'd get that. Oh, but she never stole it. You were stealing tangerines. Where have the tangerines all gone? I don't know. Maybe it was a bear. Yeah, you're not tan, and uh, you're too big for your futon. So you're not that short. The sounds of the c cicadas at night. Is that what that sound is supposed to be? Oh, no, that, I'm sorry. That is that is radio static. This is going to be like a, a radio-based version of The Ring. Uh, there's always background noise. Cars and drunken arguments at 2 a.m. outside your apartment or inside your apartment. In the countryside, it's cicadas. Cicadas in the wind. 
All of your body feels cold? Ooh, pardon me. That was rude. Maybe it's my mind. Oh, yeah, but it's the blood clot, uh... <laughs> the blood clot cutting off circulation to several parts of your body at the same time. And, uh... Why didn't I tell her? It's the last thought I had before I fall into a deep, dreamless sleep. Ow! Wow! The sudden cutoff of the sound was painful. Hey everyone, Angry Annie here. I'm trying really hard to keep bringing you the kind of quality salt you're looking for on the channel. You can help out by subscribing to the channel and hitting that thumbs up button. If you really like it, hit the share button and post it around on social media. It'll really go a long way towards helping out. Thanks!